everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video before we get any further i want to give a big thank you to timu for sponsoring today's video as you guys may know from my other timu videos timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitively priced products in multiple categories I have done a lot of Timu hauls on my channels and other videos trying out different Timu products that I have showed in those haul videos. You guys really seem to love Timu, watching the Timu haul videos, watching me test out the products from Timu. And because my channel is more focused on nails, generally the products that I picked out are more nail focused products. But Timu does offer so many other items available on their website. They have many, many categories of products such as clothing, home decor, organization, pet, jewelry, and so many more items such as nail supplies. For today's video, I do have a huge Timu haul to share with you guys. So I am going to be showing the products like I always do. And then I will also be using a few of the products towards the end of the video to actually try them out and do a nail set. Now keep in mind, like my past Timu haul videos, I won't be able to try everything in today's video. But do make sure that you subscribe and turn on post notifications because anything that I don't end up trying in today's video, I will be creating a separate video trying out those different products. Before we jump in and before I start showing all of the items in today's Timu haul, I do quickly want to talk a little bit about Timu. So some of the amazing things about Timu is they have site-wide sales up to 90% off. So you definitely will want to take advantage of that. They also do, they also offer free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days. You can get a $5 credit for late delivery. And they also have a price protection policy. If something you order drops in price within 30 days, you can request a partial refund. Those are just a few of the things giving me reason why I love Timu so much. I also have my mom, my sister, my boyfriend's grandmother all shopping on Timu along with a few of my friends. I have really loved Timu and even though these videos are sponsored, I am not biased or um, hyping them up just because it's being a sponsored video. I love Timu. I love their products and I do have so much fun with their products. I've always been very happy with everything that I have received. You can also download the Timu app through the link in the description box. I will have it down there and if you download the app, number one, it will definitely create an easier shopping experience. This doesn't go just for Timu, but my personal opinion, anywhere where I like to shop online, I always love to download the app if there is an app just because I feel like it creates an easier, easier shopping experience. So if you have not already downloaded the Timu app, go ahead down to the description box, click the link and download the app and you will be able to get more perks since you are downloading it using my link. I will also be linking all of the products that I show in today's Timu haul video down below in the description box as well. That way, if you guys like something, you can easily find it with it being linked below. But without further ado, let's jump in and start showing all of these Timu products. I have so many products, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I am going to start off with these Solid Builder Nail Gels. I did pick out three different ones. I don't know if this was all three or if they have more colors available, but again, I will have these linked down below in the description box. So I wanted to start off with these Solid Builder Gels. I did get a few, and I also wanna say that I have more Timu hauls coming. So if these are your types of videos, make sure you definitely subscribe because I will have some more coming out very soon. But for these Builder Gels, it does stay, say that they are non-stick hand. So I'm assuming with that, they are, you're gonna be able to touch them without them being super sticky. So I picked shade one, two, and three. So let's start with number one. 
And the little swatch on the side here, it does look to be that it is glittery. So that's really exciting. Another thing that I want to say is that these products, I will be trying my best to add a picture up somewhere on screen so you guys can see the actual product photo listed on Timu. And then you can also see the price for each of these items. So all of these um, solid builder gels are 15 ml and I'm just super excited. So let's just open this right up. Ooh, look at that. It is sparkly. So it does have this nice little stopper. I really like that. Even though it is solid, I really like that it has that stopper. And you can definitely see this is non-stick to my hand. Um, I'm able to touch it and it's not sticking. And look at how gorgeous that is. So stunning. I bet this would look great over a lot of different like background colors. Like if you want to apply your nails using this, but then paint under the nail with like a black. Just like on the lid here, I think this is how the color would look if it's over top black. I don't know. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to use this. This is so gorgeous. I hope the camera is picking it up well enough. There are some different glitters in here, almost like some mylar flakes, some smaller and some chunkier glitters. This is so gorgeous. I can't wait to use these on my nails. It also seems to be a really good consistency. It's not sticking to me, but it also doesn't feel like it's rock hard, which is really good. If yours, for um, some reason, does feel really hard, I would say just soak it in some warm water. Sometimes the weather can um, change the way that it's feeling. Really, it's, it's pretty warm in my room right now, and it still isn't like super sticky. I feel like it's the perfect consistency. So this color here, absolutely gorgeous. I don't want to get away with talking too much just because these videos are generally quite long. So let me just go ahead and close this one up and we'll check out the number two. This is number two. Again, same brand and this one is 15 ml. There's a little bit seeping out, but no big deal because again, it is a solid glue gel. These little caps are really nice, but they are quite hard to get off. This one is also very beautiful. You can see that it definitely is a different color than the first one. This one has more hints of like blues and purples, greens in here. It really all just depends on how the light reflects off of the glitter. But again, some mylar flakes in here, some chunkier glitters, and some smaller glitters. There is also a good amount of product in here with it being 15 ml, so that is really nice but another very beautiful one. The next one, which is number three, I'm really excited to see what this one looks like because on here it almost looks like pink peach color. So pretty. I, I'm obsessing over these. I can't wait to actually use these in a nail set. I also would like to see how they look with like a background color since they are like a clear, but the glitters are super reflective. These types of glitters that have like that iridescent look, it really just all depends the background color, the way it's reflecting on the light. And I just really love these types of glitters because they can have so many different looks to them. Again, same thing as the other two. This has like some mylar flakes in it and some thinner and chunkier glitter pieces. All of these are extremely beautiful and they are also really good quality, me just almost like playing around with them. I can tell that these are gonna make applying nail tips very easy to do. The next product is some more non-stick hand extension nail gel. And I did pick out a few different colors. I picked out one, two, and five. I'm assuming there's more colors in this just because I have one, two, and then five. These are also 15 ml and they are also all from the same like Timu listing. So again, just going to start off with number one. These being Aurora, I'm really excited for these. And of course they're sealed. Oh no. Hopefully it's an easy seal to remove. Oh yeah, not terrible. That's good. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It doesn't really look too much like the swatch on the label, but that's okay because this color is gorgeous. Again, has a really nice consistency to it. Oh my goodness. 
This is so pretty. This is very, very pretty. I'm obsessing over this. With me talking during my videos, you guys can all hear how I actually feel about the products when I first open them versus me doing a voiceover. You kind of get a little bit more to me talking during them, but this is really pretty and it has like almost like a blue purple shift to it. The next one, which is number two, Hopefully the seal is as easy to remove as it was on the last one. Got it. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Again, the swatch doesn't really match too much, but I'm thinking the swatch kind of just is almost like how it can look under different lighting. Either way, this one is gorgeous. This one is more of like pink, yellow reflect to it super pretty the same consistency as the first one i'm really excited with all of these new solid builder gels can't wait to use them to apply some full cover nail tips these are always really fun and they really remind me almost like of a poly gel and one of my things that i'm a gel girly so i do really like these solid builder gels to apply full cover nail tips or you can even use these with dual forms and finally let's check out the last one which is number five i wish i would have gotten all of these because they are so beautiful same with the last ones the glitter ones they are just extremely gorgeous and this last one seems to be a purple so pretty a great color combination i picked out with the blue pink and purple some of my absolute favorite colors so stunning i would love to see how these look again with different backgrounds or even in different lighting this one is as beautiful as the other ones because i do still have the lids off i will compare all three colors here they all are we have a blue pink and a purple super pretty i would definitely pick up the other colors of these and i can't wait to try these out on my nails the next item i picked out is some solid nail tips gel and this is the brand nail pop this you can use to of course apply your full cover nail tips and this is just a clear if i'm remembering correctly sometimes this is what happens when you have solid glue gels they can be quite hard to open because the glue gel has went to the top you can see super stretchy also very clear it is a non-stick so that's very nice because i would not be able to clean this off if it was not but i was right it is a clear again it's not sticking to me it feels like it's really good consistency and i can't wait to try this product out to apply my full cover nail tips i have used the nail pop solid glue gel in a tube so this is really nice and i can't wait to give this a try with it being in more of like a jar the next item i picked out is this five in one builder gel for nail tips you guys know it, I'm really obsessed with nail extensions, so I picked out a lot of different builder gels, but this one here is a builder gel, but it's in a bottle, so these are also really nice. Um, sometimes, whatever mood I'm in, if I want to use a solid builder gel or one in a bottle, this one does seem to be a really good consistency. I would really have to use it to apply nail tips to give my full judgment on it, but looking at the consistency, it does seem like a very nice gel, and it seems that it would make applying nail tips relatively easy. The next item that I picked out, I'm really not sure what this stuff is. I believe that it is clear gel with dried flowers in it, if I'm remembering correctly, and going off the name, it does say flower fairy gel, so I did pick out three colors of these and these are all 15 ml they do not oh yeah they do okay so they are numbered i picked out 02001 and 005 hopefully me tilting them like that didn't just create a huge mess but for 01 they are sealed i'm hoping i can remove this seal i was remembering correctly with these gels they are a dried flower gel this one looks to have light pink flowers and it also may have some fine glitter in there it is kind of hard to see out of the um 
bottle here or the jar, but it is gorgeous. I can't wait to try these. I love like dried flowers on nails and these are going to be perfect for upcoming spring nail sets. So this one has light pink flowers. This one, it's really hard to see because it also looks like the gel is tinted blue, but this one has some blue flowers, dried flowers, of course. And then the last one here, which is my favorite, this is almost like an aqua teal color and it has teal dried flowers. These are so pretty and I can't wait to actually try these on my nails to see how they look. Moving on to the next couple of items I picked out, I picked out some full cover nail tips. So these are the first ones. There are 504 pieces in this box. They are full cover nail tips, of course, in the shape almond and I really love almond nails honestly I think it may be one of my absolute favorite nail shapes so I wanted to try these ones out this is also a really nice box I could see this box being reused for like other charms rhinestones or even other nail tips once I use all of these nail tips that are in here of course opening up the box here is just a quick look at the nail tips of course like I mentioned in the beginning, I won't be able to use all of these products in today's video, which is very sad to me because I want to be able to use them all and try them all out in today's video, but that is just impossible. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick look at these nail tips. This is the size zero. It does seem to have a good bit of sizes in here, but personally, this size zero does seem very small. I don't know if maybe it's just the way I'm looking at it or what, but it does seem very small to me. It doesn't fit me. Well, maybe it does actually. I might need to be the size zero, so definitely keep that in mind. If you have large nail beds, these probably aren't going to be able to fit you. Just because the size zero, just looking at it right here, it does seem relatively small. But you can also see that the underside does have that pre-etching surface, if that is picking up on camera. But overall, these nail tips do look really nice, and I am excited to try these in an upcoming video. But again, just keep in mind from seeing this, it does seem that this size zero, which is of course the largest size, it does seem relatively small for a size zero. The next full cover nail tips that I picked out are these ones, and these are square nail tips. There are 600 nail tips in this box, 12 sizes. They are clear, and it also does say that they are soft gel full cover nail tips. So let's go ahead and open these ones up. I have tried other nail tips like this. I remember the case and a few of them I liked, some of them I didn't like. So let me take a look at these ones. Again, I'm just going to give you guys a brief look at these nail tips. So here is the size zero and I don't know what is going on today. I don't know if it's just maybe my eyes or what, but this size zero also seems relatively small. And I feel like this would also be my size if I were sizing out these nail tips. And generally, I'm not a size zero. So I don't know. Again, just keep that in mind. I will have a separate video actually trying these and going more in depth and sizing them out on my actual natural nails without a glove. But I don't know. This size zero is also looking pretty small. So if you do have larger nail beds, maybe I would avoid these nail tips. But they do look really nice. They have a nice shape and they also do have that pre-etched surface on the underside like the almond nail tips that I just previously showed. The next nail tips that I picked out, these ones are pre-colored and pre-designed. These are both the same thing, but these ones are have a glossy finish and these ones have a matte finish. I just wanted to get both of them just because I feel like the ones that have the glossy finish, those are for if you just want to apply them and be done. And then I feel like the ones with the matte finish, they give a little bit more wiggle room if you want to be able to do designs to the nails and then go in with your own top coat. It really doesn't matter either or you could do designs on, but that's kind of how I think about it. So these are really gorgeous. I love the black French tip, the shape of these nails, the length of these nails. Let me see what size this is. This is a size zero and it does seem to be a bigger size zero. 
again, I can't say that for sure because I am just placing it on where I have my glove. But here is the one that has the glossy finish. And then here is the nail tip that has the matte finish. Both are absolutely stunning. You could apply either of these and leave them as is. Or, of course, you can also apply these and go in with design stickers, foils, um, rhinestones, charms to either of these as well. I just wanted to pick them both up. But the French tip, the smile line, absolutely flawless. If you struggle with um, doing French tips, these are definitely for you. You can also see that these nail tips, because they are intended to be applied with gel, they do have that like transparent look to them and you can see through the nude part of the nail. I will definitely be trying these out in an upcoming video. If not in today's video, I haven't completely decided what I'm going to be doing in today's video yet, but these are absolutely stunning and I love the nude with the black French tip. Going along with the builder gels and the nail tips, when applying them, you need something to flash cure the nails. So I picked up this flash cure lamp and I'm actually really excited for this. So it does have some um, information on the back here. So you can take a look at that if you would like, but I'm just super excited. I want to open this thing up. So in the box, we do have the user manual and this is a metal line lamp. I just wanted to take a look at this user manual and just skim through to see how I should be using this product. I also did pick out the color blue. They do have other colors available, but I wanted the blue. So here is the little piece that goes on the base here, I would say. I would think, right? It doesn't really have the instructions on how to put it together. So I'm going to take this little sticker and place it on the base. This is just like a non-stick pad, so when you set it, it doesn't move around. Okay, so I felt like I was missing something because reading the instructions, I don't think it really shows how to put this thing together, but I think I did it correctly. I can always go back and look at the Timu um, like listing, but I did stick this sticker to the bottom here. This is just like that non-stick pad I was talking about. And then this is the actual flash cure light. So you can hold it in your hand and do a flash cure. But this base, it also sticks to it. You can stick it to there and it's magnetic. And then it will hold the light so that you don't have to hold it. So I don't know. Thinking back, I didn't think it was going to be like this. It also, the magnet, I mean, the magnet is strong enough to hold the light there. I feel like it isn't going to fall off. It also does come with these, which I'm not sure if you're supposed to put that down there or if that's just an added thing because I do know that these can help to cure on like glitters like if you want to press down a glitter onto the nail. So I'm assuming that's just what these are for. They are quite dirty though, because the packaging has like this soft velvet texture. So these would need cleaned. But I am really excited to actually plug this in and turn it on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. The cord is very long, which is nice. And I may sound super confusing right now, but trust me, it's just because I'm a little bit confused. But I'm going to go ahead and plug this in for the first time for 20 seconds. Oh, whoa, look at that. Okay, so when you press this button once, it will have 20 seconds. When you press it again, it will have 60 seconds, and then for the third press, it will turn off. Oh my goodness, this is actually really nice. Okay, it also says the red light is on when charging, and the blue light is when the battery is fully charged. I don't see a light. Oh wait, is it this? Oh yeah, it's this. Okay, so this is red. So it is currently charging. And then when the battery is fully charged, it will have a blue light. So it's a rechargeable device. So once it's fully charged, you don't have to worry about the cord. That's really nice. I'm actually really liking this, even though it was kind of confusing and I feel like this base is kind of made weird because I would think that this would be pointing this way so that it would like, I don't know. Either way, 
this is really nice. I'm excited for this. I can tell that this is going to work to be able to apply nail tips. And I also like the whole concept of having it on there, but also being able to take it off and still do cures. So I hope that wasn't super confusing to understand. I was just quite confused when I opened this up, but I am really excited for this and I'm excited to actually try it when it comes to curing on full cover nail tips. The next items that I picked out are some cat eye magnets. I've recently really been loving cat eye gel polishes and trying out all of the different designs. And I feel like honestly cat eye is super trending right now. So I wanted to pick out some different cat eye magnets. This is the first pack and it is a set of six magnets. They are numbered. So we have, oh, the numbers are not one through six. <laughs> the numbers are two, three, five, six, seven, and eight. So number two, it has this design. Now, I'm probably not going to try these all in today's video, but just keep in mind, pretty much the design that you see on here is more than likely what outcome you would get when you apply the magnet over top of a cat eye gel polish. So there are directions on each of these magnets. There are some typos in here, <laughs> but besides that, it does kind of indicate that you would just take the magnet. Once you have your cat eye gel polish, you would hold the magnet over top of the nail, hold it there for a few seconds, and then you should have the design. So the six designs that aren't, there's a heart. Oh my goodness. The paperclip heart trend. I wonder if this heart works as good. I might play around with these once we actually get to doing the nails. But here are the six designs. This one almost looks like a ice cream cone. This one is a heart. I'm really curious to see this one, especially if it actually creates a heart. But here are all six designs of these. If I don't try them in today's video, trust me, I will be trying these because I'm super excited to see if these designs will actually work. The next magnets that I picked out are something very similar. There are also six of these. And these are basically the same thing, but they are slightly different. It does have more of a wand to it. And then the design, the design for these is on the back. So like I said, there are six total designs. Here they all are. And again, if I don't try these in today's video, I definitely will be trying these because I don't have anything like this. So I'm super excited to see if the magnet will actually create the design that it's supposed to create. So these are going to be super fun to play with. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys have anything like this and if they actually work to create the design that they are supposed to create. The next magnet that I got is this very large magnetic wand. Here is the magnetic wand and it is just like a wand here and then it has a magnet on one end and a magnet on the other. I'm really excited to try this. This is just a nice cylinder magnet. It also seems like a good quality. Seems like it can be a quite a strong magnet so this is really nice. This case that it came in I also really like just because not that a magnet still wouldn't be able to stick to the case. I feel like it can be super helpful for storing this magnet just because it does seem like a pretty strong magnet. The next cat eye magnet, I feel like I'm saying magnet way too many times, but this one is almost like the one that I have tried in a previous video. It does have the um, cylinder, the long rectangle, the two small rectangles, the T-shape, and the flower, but this one is black. I'm really excited for this. This is kind of crooked a little bit, but I'm sure that won't matter. I'm sure it will still do all of the designs, and it does seem that the magnets are just as strong as the other one that I have, so I'm really excited to also try this out. And finally, the last magnets that I have is just a small little pack of two skinny rectangular magnets on the like long ones, a shorter one, and then also more of like a rectangle shape. This is great for creating a bunch of different designs, including some abstract nails. I actually 
use very similar magnets to these ones to create an abstract cat eye nail look if you guys happen to see that video. To go with all of those cat eye magnets, I also picked up some cat eye gel polishes because I was really curious to test out and try the cat eye gels from Timu. So I picked out two different sets. This first one here, it has a bunch of different cat eye polishes in here. I'm not going to open up all of these, but I will open a few of them. There are a total of eight cat eye gels, and then we also have this pretty standard cat eye magnet. And I'm going to go ahead and just open all of these up so you guys can see the color. <music> Next gel polish collection is also some cat eye gels. In this box, we do have a little instruction manual, and then we also do have that pretty standard cat eye magnet, and then there also seems to be a hand file in here. And then we have some cat eye gels, but we also have a top coat, base coat, and a matte top coat. So again, I'm just going to go through, open up all of these bottles just so you guys can get a quick glimpse at each of these cat eye colors. <music> Last item included in today's Timu haul video. Like I mentioned though, don't worry, more Timu hauls to come. But this is a organizational case. I love the organizational items that they have featured on Timu. This specifically, I got to organize some rhinestones. You could also use these for so many different things. Um, but I wanted to pick this up. It did come in a pack of three, so I do have three of these. And then it also came with these stickers. That way you can label the cases, which is really nice. You can put the label on the top, or you can put it on the inside or on the bottom of the case. So I do think it was really nice that it included these labels. There are also a lot of sheets of labels here and then like I mentioned I do have three of these cases. Opening up the case it is just a very simple case. I know a lot of people use these for a lot of different things. You can use them for crafts such as like beads, um, anything really but I wanted to get this for some rhinestones. The space is also really deep and then another really cool thing is that you can remove these little pieces and they do come apart so if you only want to remove one side you can also do that but you can remove these pieces and create a custom space so if you want to have this large space in this space you can take as many pieces out as you want so this is super custom customizable which i really like and i also am super happy that i got a 
three pack of these because these are going to come in very handy for organizing all of my charms and rhinestones and things like that. So I really like these. I'll probably get some more of these just because they are really good quality and they're going to be absolutely perfect for what I need them for. Here is a quick look of everything included in today's Timu haul. I had a lot of fun unboxing all of these items and I cannot wait to try these items in upcoming videos. I am very excited for the cat eye gel polishes, the solid glue gels, and also all of the different cat eye magnets. I think for today's nail set, I'm definitely going to be giving some of the cat eye gel polishes and the magnets a try, just because I am super excited to see what designs they can create. Don't forget, all of these products will be linked down below in the description box, along with the link to download the Timu app so you can get some fun perks. If you guys have not already downloaded the Timu app, I 100% recommend it. It does really create an easier shopping experience. I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. I am now going to jump in and actually do some nails. I do have some more upcoming Timu hauls, so make sure you do subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you guys can be notified for when I upload those videos. But I am super excited and want to jump in to play around with some of these nail products. So let's jump in and try some of these products and do my nails. Like I've been saying throughout the video, I will be trying these products in other videos, like upcoming videos. So don't worry. Of course, I can't use everything today, but I am going to be using these full cover nail tips. I'm going to be applying them using this five in one builder gel. And then I will also be using this little flash cure lamp. And then I'll be playing around with the cat eye gels and the different cat eye magnets. So I'm just going to to start off by sizing out my nail tips. Now that I have my nail tip sized out, I'm ready to apply them. So like I mentioned, I will just be using this 5-in-1 Builder Gel to quickly apply them. And then I also have this Flash Cure flashlight lamp. It is currently unplugged and it's charged, so you can see it will turn on. I'm really excited to try this and see how well it cures the gel. To apply the nail tips, I'm going to just do the same method as I usually do, just by applying this Builder Gel to the inside of the nail nail tips where I estimate my natural nail to be and then I'll add a little extra product just to be sure that the gel will fully cover the entire surface of my natural nail. Before applying the nail tip I am going to turn the flash cure lamp on. I will then apply the nail tip starting at the cuticle but not on, slowly lowering it at a 45 degree angle. Once the gel has reached the free edge of my natural nail, I will hold it in place and do my flash cure under the flashlight curing lamp. Now that I have all of the nail tips applied and I did my full cure, I am going to be going in with my filing and my buffing.
After I'm finished filing and buffing, I'm just going to take a dust brush to remove all of the nail dust. And I have decided that I wanted to use the cat eye gels that have a color shift to them. These ones here. I really like the cat eyes that have like almost like a chameleon look where they shift in color. So I'm not sure which color I'm going to use yet. I'm going to have to go back and look through all of the colors. But I have found that the cat eye gels that have almost like a color shift to them do look best over a black base. So for my base, I'm of course going to use a black gel polish and I'm going to go in with one coat of this on all of the nails and I will cure for a full 60 second cure. So here is my black base on the nails. This is only one coat of the black gel polish. I have decided to use this one. It almost like shifts from a purple to a blue. I don't really know what magnets I'm going to use. I think I'm just going to play around with a couple of them and see which design I like. I may do another like abstract nail set with some different like um, designs on all of the nails. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm going to use some of these magnets just because I'm really curious to see how they work. So I'm going to start. Another thing that I want to say is I feel like these gel polish bottles don't have much gel in them. I haven't used these yet and I feel like for some reason when I dip my brush in, it doesn't seem like there's that much gel in the bottle. But I'm going to go in and ooh, that is so pretty. I love that. It's a very pretty purple color. I'm going to go in and apply the gel to my nail. After I have the gel polish applied, it almost looks more like blue, purple, pink. It's very pretty, but I'm going to take the cylinder magnet and just go on the sides of the nail. That way I can bring out the glitter in the gel. Very pretty. I like that a lot. And then I think I want to try this one. This one seems like really cool. Almost looks like a star. So I'm just going to hold it and I'm going to hold it like this. And I'm just going to hold it there for a couple of seconds. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. I'm going to go ahead and cure that because I really like that. Here is how that first nail looks. It definitely looks like a star. It is a little off-centered. I don't know if that's because I wasn't holding the magnet like straight on the nail or if the star is supposed to be off-center. I wish that there was like an image drawn here on the actual magnet because I feel like that would help a little bit with knowing where to hold the magnet. Either way, it looks really good. I have decided that I'm actually going to use a different cat eye gel polish on each of the nails. So for the next nail, I'm going to use this color. And again, I'm going to repeat the same process by just applying the cat eye gel to the nail first. Next nail, I'm going to use this green cat eye gel.
for my pinky, I'm going to use this cat eye polish. This is definitely more of like a blue. For my thumbnail, I'm going to use this gold, almost like yellow color. I had a lot of fun trying out these cat eye gel polishes and all of the different magnets. Let me know down below in the comment section if you guys want a separate video focusing on the other cat eye gels along with the ones I tried in today's video and then also me just playing around with all of the magnets and seeing different ways that I can use them. I think honestly this one here is my favorite. It looks like this on the magnet but this design is super cool. I think that's really cool looking. I'm now going to take my top coat. This top coat is also from Timu. I'm going to apply this to all of the nails and do a 30 second cure. And here is the finished look of the nails. I'm now going to be applying my cuticle oil. I'm going to apply that to my cuticles to nourish them. And of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. And I've been having a lot of fun playing around with different cat eye magnets and different cat eye gels. I think cat eyes are really trending right now and one of my favorite things to play around with. Let me know down below in the comment section which nail is your favorite. I think I would have to go with either the thumb or the index finger. I do really like this star. I think this could add a really nice accent nail into pretty much any nail set. And then this design here, I just think it looks really cool. And I haven't really ever seen anything like cat eye nail like that. So yeah, I think these are super cool. Each nail is different, which makes it super fun, giving almost another abstract cat eye nail set. I do really love these magnets. I would love to play around with them more and create different like nail sets and seeing if you can hold the magnets in different ways to get like different designs, really just playing around with it all. But I had so much fun with this nail set and cat eyes are going to still be one of my absolute favorite things. I will have all of the products that I did show in today's video and also use linked down below in the description box in case you guys want to pick anything up for yourselves. I had a lot of fun unboxing everything included in this Timu haul along with getting to use a few of the products. I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video, but as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.